everyone, welcome back to another XO Zeros episode. So today's episode, we are discussing the maintenance updates, content, and new heroes that will be dropping tomorrow, June 24th. So you might not be able to access it tomorrow once the maintenance is going to be up. So more or less, the maintenance is going to take around 4 hours or even more. But before we go into the maintenance, let's check out the new story, Chapter 19. So Concealed Boon update. So Zion's group has been has been has escaped from stretch out once evil's hand carries and escape safely. <laughs> Not sure about that, but anyway, chapter 19, the concealed moon. The story of concealed moon is is v Vitru's return in the past of of Prithu, Prithioff, uh and I think Luna. So a new nation pedas will be updated as the background of season four, Fallen Sky. So again, Pedas is, is a new region which is located in the northern east sky. So again, <clears throat> I was able to discuss this on a previous uh, director's note. So more or less, we are going to receive all of these. And we have new heroes, folks. But before that, the new region update, the maximum level of the account is expanded from 65 to 70. Upon reaching level 70, you will be receiving 10 nation recruit tickets and 30 die coupons. Let's get back to the new heroes. So new heroes, Luna, Melissa, Garland update. So members of the Veil group Shadow Bane will, will be updated as new heroes. The head of the secret society called Shadow Bane. Okay, the fate grade heroes, Luna, Melissa, Garland belonging to the secret society Shadow Bane will be updated. New heroes can be confirmed and acquired through a hero recruit journal, door to creation and scout content. Okay, so more or less all three of them are going to belong into one banner so but with different um um chances to get so we'll start off with luna so luna is an agent of secret society called shadow bane so she consists shadow Bane consists of various personalities but luna still manages to stand out among them all the other agents have to wear masks to hide their identity but luna has always been luna so luna's unique appearance is part of what makes her special Okay, let's move on to her design. So, fresh design actually, um, kind of bit of a tribal look, if I may say. Um, if you can see later, their their what they call this, their their costume is almost similar to a tribal theme. So again, kudos to the art department for Exo Zeros. Um, I think Luna will be their general. So let's move on to her skills. First look at her skills. So passive effect so it's going to be first aid three grants heals 100 percent of attack to an ally if they take damage and their health falls to 20 percent or less or so gains mana if own health is at 20 percent or less when triggered gains one mana again if own health is at 7 percent 70 percent when triggered so breath of mana over time effect front row allies gain one mana so here is her um special passive it's called Halo. Grants allies with lower maximum health than self with the Halo mark. So everyone has to have lower maximum health than her. Increasing the target's maximum health by 20%. Similar to what Garth give, uh, Garth gives. So more or less, um, it's a buff for health. When an ally besides self is affected by Moon Restoration, removes the Halo mark and increases attack by 50% for 10 turns. What is Moon Restoration, you might say? So moon Restoration is a special if own mana is 5 or more. At the start of the turn, revives a dead ally with the highest attack. Okay, so this is an auto-revive. Um, her, her passive will basically trigger once the conditions are met. So mark with Halo with any, without any cost to own health. And the mana burn is 5 to self. So basically the cost... Of this passive would be five mana so again whether you have five or you have ten she will actually have a mana burn of five to activate this particular passive which is actually crazy ridiculous especially if you have abundant amounts of mana um, on her um, at any time which she can generate so more or less very good passive uh, initially as a general so first um, general who was revived so far um, there are a lot of other heroes that have revived, but she's the first one as a general. So for her S1, Breaking Dawn, 
It's uh, heals all allies by 70% of own maximum health. So obviously you have to boost her own health. Cleanses all debuffs and damage over time effects on all allies. Revives all dead allies. So aside from her passive revive, she also has a revive on her uh, S1, which is actually good. So a required mana is 3 and also a burst skill. So next is her S2 Eclipse. So it's required 4 mana. Deals 127% damage to all enemies. Heals all allies by 24% of own maximum health when the skill hits. Then cleanses all debuffs and damage over time effects on all allies. So again, very good um, kit for a general. Um, more or less, she is going to be one of the good or better support journals in the game once she comes out then she is mostly going to be uh be very important moving forward in the meta so more or less a big impact player so but i also have seen her fate core proposed fate core which is more or less uh prepared for summer so again she will be used indefinitely in <laughs> definitely in the future next we have here melissa so for Melissa, so he, she is the he she is the head of the secret society for called Shadowbane, and more or less again, if you can see, as I've said before, the theme of their of their costume is more on tribal. Um, I don't know how old she is, but she looks like a tribal elder. So let's go and move on to her skills. So she has cleansed three cleanses damage over time. This is for her passive. Uh, and debuff effects run ally and gains one mana. So gains one mana, additional health of target is 20% and at 70% or more when triggered. Next is her S1. So gazing mask increases attack of all allies by 24% of own act for seven turns. Removes all status effects from target. Increases attack of all target ally by 50% for 10 turns if the target has the halo mark. Okay, so synergy with this is synergy with Luna and for her S2 Shadow of Mask deals 178% damage to all enemies. So usually basic kit, um, it would all depend on how good her FC is, and she is actually tied again to Luna for her S1. Next would be Garland. So Garland is actually a G1 agent from previous G1 agent from the Secret Society called Shadow Bane. So, if you can see here again, um, if you guys have seen the movie um, Coming to America with Eddie Murphy, their custom design is actually similar to what they have. So, more or less, it's, it's actually very tribal, tribal inspired and the sword looks good at the back. So, as you can see here for Garland, um, his counter 3 is his passive, counters upon taking damage um gains mana one mana if target dies and if health of target is at 70 percent or more uh deception if halo mark is applied to self mana burn one to target upon basic attack so inflicts uh mana burn uh to what they call this to to target if he inflicts a basic attack which is actually kind of good can have a consistent mana burn every turn and control the mana of a certain enemy on the other side shadow crystal so s1 deals 102 percent damage to all enemies next is ice tree forest so deals 255 damage to all enemies again basic kit but more or less i like the passive for the basic attack which is mana burn which comes to my next point chance hero chance up recruit shadow bane so june 24th this is up to July 1st, Thursday. Okay, so you can recruit here the higher probability than the premium recruit. So again, um, very nice co uh, costume design for Fall and Sky for Season 4. So the obtain rate for Luna would be 0 0.5, similar to a Fate Core, a Gold Fate Core. Um, where Melissa is going to be 0.7% for Garland is going to be 1.0% So for this banner, they're going to all three are going to be 
uh, you can get all three. So you can earn uh, one hero recruit mileage for recruiting heroes 11 times. 28 hero, re hero mileages are required for Luna. Guarantee obtain. More or less, if you have um, reached the hero mileage, you're going to get Luna as a guarantee. The hero mileages are initialized each time the chance of recruit is changed. So next, again, if you're not satisfied with those three, we have another one. New hero class, so mythic and mythic recruit update. The mythical recruits, uh, the mythical heroes adjoining Exos Continent will be updated as a new hero class. So we've discussed this before in the previous um, director's note that I was able to present to you guys. The new hero myth mythic class is only allowed to be organized with one hero per team. Mythic grade heroes do not apply the signature force, which is actually good, which will make them very OP if they still have. But it has a stronger niche potential effect than the other hero grades, which is actually kind of balanced things out. This season up, uh, for updates features Misty as the first mythic hero class. So I think she belongs to North 1 Frosty. Um, uh, mythic heroes can be obtained in, at any time with a certain probability for premium recruit, chance of recruitment, and national recruit national recruitment you can proceed with a chance of recruit through mythic recruit so with this they will be this will be out i think tomorrow together with the other three in a different manner with a different currency so more or less this is the interface that we will be seeing tomorrow for the dragon age mythic recruit there is even a step up rewards here so one two three four five in the mythic recruitment if the 11th recruitment is carried out you can definitely acquire one new and one hero of fate grade or higher. Also, step up rewards are available for mythic requirement. Every 11 recruits and step up level will be, you can get up to five step up rewards. Okay, here are the mileages and the rewards. Mythic recruit tickets, which require to mythic recruitment. You may get one mythic mileage for each mythic recruit ticket consumed when you acquire 280 mythic mileage which is actually very big i don't know if we could get her because she's i, th I, th I think this banner is limited for only a week you can definitely get a mythic hero so it means um mist misty so the mythic recruit will not expire even if mythic recruitment ends which is actually pretty much good because again um there will be other mythic heroes that will be out in i think future banners so i'm glad that they have this mechanic so mythic recruit tickets can be obtained through events such as mythic challenges and season attendance additional purchases are available to store so again the the mileage for this one is going to be, uh, sorry the, the the tickets for this one is going to be different so watch out because they're going to have an event so the mythic challenges which i will be discussing later so miss mythic recruit misty let's check out her her kit so june 24 up to july 28 this is going to be only up to a wednesday so her banner is a bit short 24 it's only five days so you can recruit hero plus fate core with a higher probability than the premium recruitment okay Again, um, fantastic artwork by Exos Heroes for Misty. Again, she looks like an angel. And uh, she she actually is more or less, uh, she just lacks the halo up there. And let's take a look at her kit. So passive is cleanse three, cleanses damage over time and debuff effects from ally and gains mana, one mana. Additionally, if health of target is at 20% or less when triggered, Gain one mana additionally if health of the target is at 70% or more when triggered. Also, she has a new passive contradiction removal. Binds dragon blood marks from enemies. So more or less, um, when you talk about bind, um, the dragon blood mark is going to be the first dragon. So the, I think she's going to have a bind is... This is going to be suspended or cancelled out. So let's see how, how this plays out. Um, bind is actually 
um how do you bind dragon blood marks on all enemies remove remove them cancel them or i'm not sure but more or less let's let's see once we um test her out in gameplay if i have her mystic aura so special grants damage immunity one time to all allies upon dying so all allies will have damage immunity once she dies and guess what if if luna resurrects her then uh, it's going to be this is going to be fun so arcas arcazione special when receiving damage beyond own current health grants protection from death one so this is similar to tranquil or battery but this is actually built in into her kit and grants damage immunity remove when one ally dies to self for five turns if there's another living ally besides self Okay, so basically what this says, if she's going to die, she's not going to die. She's going to be at one health, uh, but she will be getting damage immunity as long as there's another ally present in the battlefield, which is kind of kind of OP, I guess. So benevolence over time effect increases own received damage from leg legendary or lower tier heroes by 30%. Um, more or less this is for kind of like a balance out of of her kit so increase all that da receive damage if the damage comes from a legendary or lower tier heroes by 30 percent so again it, it balances her out if um damage dealt by legendary or lower um, increase the damage by the way increase the damage received so not being dealt damage received by her so sort of ling lingering so it's a three mana spell deals 525 damage to an enemy special increases received damage for the target by 40 percent for five thirds so again this has its own drawback which increases damage towards her resets turn of an ally with the lowest attack speed which you can really combo especially with uh, this is going to be very nice especially for those um slow heroes let's say for example valentina if you have valentina at the slowest speed so she can actually do this um if her first attack doesn't hit so again kind of a combos that you can do so number your s2 would be virtuous light so deals 255 damage to all enemies record mana is four remove status effects of all allies upon using the skill and gain two mana which is actually awesome again um she has everything all the support needs that you need for your team but again she has a couple of drawbacks maybe just to to balance out her kit and to even out uh, her opiness so more or less um my thoughts on her um well i think she's good she's she's going to be op even even if with the drawbacks you can always mask her within the team or provide her with more protection or you can actually just uh revive her <laughs> so more or less you you have luna now so if her and luna are in the battlefield this is going to be another meta which you know which is actually going to be welcoming uh with with the current meta that we have so step up reward in the mythic recruitment that can get up step step up rewards in this recruitment there are a maximum of five step up rewards you can acquire a black fate or recruitment for every step up stage so misty is a mythic grade hero the opinion rate for misty is 0 0.5 point uh, 0.5 percent so similar to a gold fate core recruit by consuming mystic recruitment tickets and earn one mystic mileage for each ticket which consumed so again her ticket mileage is 280 you that uh, that mythic mileage may be used in the next banner actually doesn't uh, go out as long as it's another my a mythic banner so myth my mis mystic mileage required can be recalculated every 280 miles and can be redeemed up to three times within the period and mythic mileage is reset when the mythic recruitment ends okay and, s and set resetting mythic mileage cannot be recovered Okay, mythic requirements step up rewards are reset when the mythic recruitment ends and i cannot actually understand some of this 
<laughs> okay, answer exclusive weapon. So, North One Frosty Lullaby. So again, she's from North One Frosty, obviously. So uh, again, I'm I wouldn't recommend uh, you getting her exclusive weapon. This is going to be. I'm sure that the currency for this one would also be similar to when we recruit Miss when we recruit Misty. So I guess, I guess uh, this will just be for aesthetic. So the obtain rate is also 0.5 percent and 28 core mileages for guarantee obtain. This will probably be just this, but I'm not sure. They haven't stated this here if it's going to be this or the new currency for Mythic. So let's move on to the next part. Okay, so how are you going to recruit Misty? So there's a Mythic Challenge mission update. A new Mythic Challenge mission update will begin starting tomorrow as well after the maintenance. Mythic Challenge mission is a special event that is only proceeding before the period of the Mythic Recruitment. Okay, so clear missions to earn achievement points, daily rewards to be consumed, to consume points to exchange to desired products at the exchange. Okay, this is going to be happening on the 24th up to July 28th, Wednesday, which I think is a is July 30, not, not 28th, if it's going to be a Wednesday next week. So daily mission, you can earn achievement points by clearing daily missions. Daily missions clear record is reset every day. You can try can try again and earn points daily rewards can be earned based on achievement points earned every day and daily reward acquisition record is reset every day and can be acquired again a point exchange system you can use the achievement points earned during the events to purchase items in the point exchange system for the mythic chance you can acquire various items such as mythic recruitment tickets which is actually preferable gold fate core memory and ultimate orb and holy water which i think would be best for mythic recruitment tickets because again um this is going to be more or less uh more than gold this would be platinum in terms of rarity the so precaution since the price and number of purchases restriction purchase restrictions are different for each product so please check before purchasing challenge points are reset at the end of the mythic transmission and reset achievement points cannot be recovered so more or less i'm just going to breeze through this so this is a season four string of creation it's a gold premium limited recruit so again you have your fc rachel fc battery and fc garf as your star for this particular string of recreation which is actually very good especially if you're a beginner um i would suggest you prioritize this before you know the other new heroes because these have fade cores and these you can't actually use if you're building their nation so another gold premium limited recruit will open also june 24th and after the update Ju july 28th okay so this is a very short period of only more or less a week junior creation recruitment system you guys know this already um step up reward so more or less there is a step up reward as well for this one which is one two three four five six which the awards will be here excuse me you can get all of these other um uh heroes if you don't have them yet signature link is also going to be up so i won't i won't delve into this if you want more details on signature link I'll post a video up there for my previous video for the director's note in which I explain signature link. So more or less just breezing through it. Nation, signature nation, Lenombe Allied Nation, Pedas, and Shadow Bane. So this is just linking to uh, Allied Nations linking to your signature nation so that you could use them for your signature force. So uh, level of enhancement is key on getting a signature here's transcendence level and applied signature force enhancement level so if you transcend a certain hero to highest level then you will get to have the, a great effect for your signature link okay you just can link multiple union nations to a signature nation so you can link multiple nations to one particular nation and uh, so you have here pedas and shadow bane already infinity core so this i'm 
kind of curious because Infinity Core is going to open finally. So official season open um, has been reorganized and official season will be open tomorrow. So two main reorganizations will be carried out. And a new reward was added to replace the weekly normal reward. First reorganization, infinity buff that is applied according to the conditions of the Fate Core Heroes organize, organized is added. For each dungeon of infinity core, a special Fate Core team is displayed where you can activate the, bu the buff effect when using a hero equipped with a specific Fate Core. Okay, so... If you use a specific fate core, there's going to be a buff applied, I think, to your team or to that hero itself. A powerful infinity buff is given to all allies, not to the self, not to oneself. If a hero is wearing a specific theme, fate core is not formed, debuff is applied to all allies. Okay, second reorganization. The start of ranking is changed to the level of dungeon and clearing the number of clear consumed. During the Battle of Infinity Core, you can check the number of turns consumed. When the when a dungeon is cleared, the corresponding stage and number of turns consumed are recorded and, and used as basis for ranking calculation. So basically what this says is if you clear a certain stage with less number of turns, then it's better because your ranking will be higher. So if the same level is cleared, the user with fewer turns consumed at the time of clearing will be ranked higher. Yes, I said that already. If both the clear stage and the number of turns consumed at clear, clearing at the same time, the user who reached the record first will be ranked higher. So again, clear stages as soon as possible, um, preferably with lower turns. We expect that it will become a strategic competitive factor for clearing dungeons by changing the ranking calculation criteria. So what we have here is a weekly reward for the official season will be charged to infinite crystal, no longer 200 zest. So these are the rankings and these are the amount of infinite crystals that you may be receiving. The infinite crystal may be obtained only in the infinite or content in exchange goods at Heowon's old store. So we have here um, a fit core recruit random. You have here... Uh, currency for your unleashed potential and you ha even have zest here which is actually good so red fate core will be also be included in the list that can be exchanged using infinite crystal so which is good because i think the red fate core will be featuring um Jinai, i think so i think we can get Jinai from here but currently red fate core is being prepared uh, and it's not included in the product list in this update so probably in the future they will include it rank 2 equipment update so again it will start in this update um i will post again a link up there for um the previous discussion on the director's note on the mechanics for rank 2 equipment update because this video is going to take very long already so more or less uh, just a short overview of rank 2 you can level up your rank 1 to rank 2, not consume them. And there will be other materials to be used for rank 2. Okay, Season uh, season 4 hero growth update. So as you can see here, we have another uh, silver fate core, which is Rebirth Gale. Um, which gives a buffs, uh, well, kind of different look for Gale. But gives a buffs to... A bronze story battle, so increase attack, defense, health of all allies by 70% upon starting a bronze story battle. That's the unique skill that he's going to give. Transcendence also discussed in the director's note. And unify the attendance book. And what else? Door to creation, signature force, recruit craft book update, which will include signature fated heroes like your generals. So more or less uh it's good to be it so zest uh two signature heroes and zest 300 which is very expensive which is okay kinda okay update three unleash potential enhancement material change so your solar seals can now be converted to arcane stone which is a one is to one ratio that can be used in your unleash potential and i assume we can actually farm for the arcane stone as well so the stone your daily tournament so hopefully seven stone will be opening tomorrow as well 
So season reward and daily tournament reward have been changed. Uh, so this is actually similar to. Oh, sorry. Um, I was thinking of Arcverse. So the best on your daily tournament season reward and daily tournament reward have been changed. First place to master three star crystal have been okay. All the while I was thinking Arcverse, but this is the best on here. So more or less, there has been just a small change in the rewards. Um, the Zest is apparently is still the same. So uh, Master 3 Star Crystal has been added in the rewards. So, okay. Master 3 Star Crystals has been added. Okay. Star Crystal, which is here. It's a new um, currency. The tournament hit, hit point reward has changed. 12 points reward and 18 points reward has been modified. So, um, the tournament hit point reward. So, there is there are new rewards daily for Zibel's two year. So, please watch out for that. Eternal Bond, which now will be FC Rera Gold and FC April. Um, if you are going for Nombe, then go for April. If you are going for Greenland, more or less go for FC Rera. But if neither, if you're going neither for the Nombe or Greenland, more or less the safest pick would be Rera because Rera you can splash with any team that you bring because I am splashing sometimes FC Rera with my Wasted Red team. So I'll probably go with Rera because I'm not sure if what level of Fusion is, is, uh, is my Rera currently. So season four celebration Exos Festa. More exciting Exos Festa is coming in celebration for season four update. Okay, Exos Festa is an event where can we can proceed for thirty days from the date of participation. Exos Festa missions open every day, one day each, up to seven days, and rewards can be obtained after clearing each each mission. Middle reward and final reward can also be obtained depending on the number of missions cleared. Okay. So Exos Festa, we've had this before. And this is going to have a comeback. Okay, so Air Squadron Battle. So, just similar. World Drop Event. So, Shadow, Mask of Shadow Bane. Uh, we have new exploration item. And there is an exchange for that item, which is going to be uh, the best, would be Nation Recruit Ticket uh, 10 times. Okay, you can get 10. New hero battle update. You're going to have Zetok, I think. No, it's going to be Luke. For hero battle, you Pierce Lab. Again, will be reset. Choice Forge. Exos Pass for July is coming. Exos Pass, Exos Pass. Monthly season mission will be reset as well. And cumulative. Uh, it's going to be an orange fate core selection ticket for the cumulative purchase event convenience improvements and all the improvements to bugs no arc verse arc verse um, there's a update here but I'm not sure when this will be out but different bug fixes so far for the game and more or less that's it so more or less this event will Keep us busy for the next few weeks probably in um, getting these new heroes. Probably trying out Infinity Core and all its... I hope it doesn't have bugs in it. So more or less, I'm kind of kinda okay with this. I'm still looking forward to Arcverse, by the way, once it is fixed and we can have that in play. So if you have stuck along in this far in this video, uh, more or less guys please um, subscribe or consider subscribing also click on that bell icon and have a like on this video if you find this informative also put down your comments below on this update how has it been is this what you were expecting and also guys take care stay safe the warden and i'm out